be seated. Pilipino, kaling natin ito. Nagpapatuloy ang ating live ABS-CBN sports coverage ng 30th Southeast Asian Games. And tonight, we once again feature our men's volleyball team as they look to pick up win number two in the tournament as they take on Vietnam. From Indonesia. Second referee Kenneth Wong from Singapore. It's now time to meet the starters. First for Vietnam. Outside hitter number three, Dong Van Tien. Middle blocker number six, Nguyen Kang Hai. Outside hitter number eight, Lei Kwang Kang. Center number 10, Ding Van Tu. Middle blocker number 12, Nguyen Ding Nyu. Opposite hitter and their team captain, number 14, Tu Tang Tuan. And their libero, number one, Huynh Trung Trung. Head coach for Vietnam is Tai Quang Lai. Let us now make some noise for the starters for the Philippines. Outside hitter number one, Brian Bagunas. Setter number three, Joshua Retamar. Middle blocker number six, Kim Malapunga. Opposite hitter, their team captain, number 10, John Vic de Guzman. Middle blocker, number 12, Francis Saura. Outside hitter, number 15, Mark Espejo. And their libero, number 13, Jack Kalinke. Head coach for the Philippines is Dante Alitsunuri. There is only one minor change with regards to the starting lineup of the Philippines, and that is with the libero position. Jack Kaling King will be starting this match instead of NU's Ricky Marcos. But the other positions all the same, and why not? After picking up that straight sense win against Cambodia to open up their campaign in a men's volleyball tournament here in the 30th. Southeast Asian Games. Mabuhay Pilipinas and welcome to our coverage on SND on I Want. And we're also saying hello to everybody watching on sports.ebs-cbn.com. I'm Anton Ross and joining me for this broadcast is Coach Ronnie Maxanok. Once again, please be reminded to turn off your flash if you have a second to second win, but more than that. Thank you very much. Itong laban na ito, pwede mong masabi na si Paan na for the right to make it to the next phase. A win here today for the Philippines. Despite the fact that this will only be their second win, kung sakasakali, will guarantee a spot in the semis. And that is because Indonesia, papasok, right? Indonesia won earlier in straight sets against Cambodia, so Correct. they are at 2-0. and oh. The Philippines looks to attain the same record to advance. Now, if we're going to look at the statistics of Vietnam's straight sets loss against Indonesia, only one player scored in double digits their team captain number 14 playing the opposite hitter position to Than Thuan so siya ang kailangan markahan ng Pilipinas dito John Victor Guzman scoring off the block for the first point of our team very important for the Philippines of course to be really solid with their net defense uh, this comes after we saw Vietnam last night beat the Philippines 15 to 9 in terms of kill blocks. Let's see if Vietnam will continue to rely on their captain Tu Tan Tuan because they their reliance on him was very excessive in that first match against Indonesia, and they went to him on the first two tosses there. This is Duong Van Tien had four points against Indonesia. Retamar tossing it up to Pagunas. 
and a lot of people were the entire country in fact raving about the performance of Retamar. Josh Retamar in his SEA Games debut coach it was uh, something that uh, many people did not expect but based on what we saw of Retamar throughout his uh, young UAP career truly capable extremely gifted and uh, he combined of course with Magunas and uh, Marcus Pejo, who scored in double figures for the Philippines, as this uh, tandem had 35 out of the 79 points scored by the Philippines against Cambodia in that 78-minute win in the first match of Team Philippines. Magunas trying to slam that volleyball down, but it is Vietnam that's able to do that. Right, in transition, Vietnam able to counter-attack. You pointed out uh, the leading scorer of Vietnam who had 19 points out of the 73 attempts for Vietnam in that uh, loss to Indonesia. He had 34 of the 73 shots taken by Vietnam against Indonesia. And coach Thai Quang Lai of Vietnam making an adjustment. Number six who played sparingly played one set played one set in that first match against Indonesia starting when Than Hai it was an attack error already committed by the Guzman but then let's take a look at this uh, sequence because the point will go to the Philippines would be a net touch called against uh, Vietnam the Philippines had 17 kill blocks in that win versus Cambodia with uh, Retamar registering uh, six kill blocks. Scored 11 points of his own. Amazing performance. Vietnam able to tie things up. Bagunas trying to get busy at the top of the net. So in the early goings, Tu Than Thuan continues to be in attack mode as we have our first challenge of the match. A lot of familiar names for our uh, valuable followers. As we take a look at Ricky Marcos, of course, and uh, Brian Bagunas and Kim Labunga, uh, key players for the National University Bulldogs, of which... National team head coach Dante Alinsinurin took to the finals and uh, they were able to win in the most recent UAAP uh, competition. Five NU players of coach Dante Alinsinurin in this lineup. Bagunas, Retamar, Malabunga, Saura, and Ricky Marcos. Well, of course, Rex Intal, Ish, Ish Polvorosa, and Marcus Pejo traces their roots to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. And we have not seen Polvorosa and Intal in action so far in the SEA Games. Abdilia and Umandal also did not see action in the first match against Cambodia, so I'm sure a lot of fans are excited to see those players contribute to our cause. Uh, Jao Umandal is uh, very young, but he has already made it to the Southeast Asian Games national uh, team roster. And that is... Uh, just a glimpse or uh, a picture on how good uh, this spiker is. It comes from uh, the Growling Tigers stable. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge was successful. Wow. Great call for the Philippines to point it against Vietnam. Very important to have a uh, blistering start against Vietnam. Guzman. It's a back set. And finally, Bagunas getting his hands on that volleyball. Over the blockers. Vietnam able to recover. And uh, Vietnam is able to score against Malabunga and uh, Retamar's two man wall. From a two point lead, Cushion is down to one for the Philippines. Kung may T4 yung women's team, T3 ba? T3 na. <laughs> Sabi ko na eh. 
talagang talagang mapalad ka ngayon at ito. <laughs> at yan ang hinahanap natin. A little bit of uh, luck and divine intervention that you may be able to cross over to the semis eventually. Pagunas. Another one of his heavy, heavy serves. But Vietnam will cut into a two-point lead on their counter. Vietnam was 30 of 73. In terms of uh, shots taken against Indonesia, Indonesia, meanwhile, a very high rate at 50 out of 80. On the Philippines was 37 of 77 versus Cambodia. Cambodia, 37 of 84 versus the Blue Shirts of the Philippines. Bagunas with a back row bomb puts the Philippines on top, 6 to 4. The second leading scorer for the Philippines behind the 21 points scored by the scoring machine. Marcus Pejo, Bagunas was 8 of 24 against Cambodia. Atangagandahan, huh? going to the dynamic duo ni Espejo at itong si uh, Bagunas. Espejo also was uh, the second leading receiver para sa Pilipinas with 8 out of 18 excellent receptions. Now, two players who played only in the third set against Indonesia are making an impact right away. Number 6 and number 12, Gwen Than Ai and Gwen Din Nu. Uh, in the third set against Indonesia off the bench. Hopefully this will be the sign of uh, things to come not only for Espejo but for the rest of Team Philippines as we take a look at the uh, incoming sophomore for the Bulldogs. Retamar on deck to serve for the first time. First kill block for the Philippines in this match. They had 17 in that first match win versus Cambodia. 3.8 for the Philippines reaching the first technical timeout. Josh Retamar back at the service line for the Philippines. As we lead 8 to 5. Another quick attack by the Vietnamese side. Espejo over the blockers. Two points for Espejo in the first set. The first of many to come for the former King Eagle. Who once registered over 50 points in the semi-final match. 55, coach. 55, uh, over 50 in a semi-final match versus FAU a couple of years ago. In a match that coincidentally you and I covered, right? <laughs> 55 <laughs> points in a volleyball game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Meanwhile, Vietnam showing a lot of variety to start off this match, coach. Duong Van Tien getting involved for his ball club. And they need to be in that level in terms of ball distribution because I'm sure that they saw how well we defended Cambodia. 17 out of 50 kill block attempts. They go to the middle for Francis Saura. Special day of the house for Saura. A wild scramble for the volleyball. Another opportunity for the Philippines. Look at them fly, look at them soar, and look at Baguna score. Everybody was flying high, misdirection from the left, even from the right. But Bagunas was the one who finished off that point for the Philippines. Saura, and then Espejo faking, attracting one blocker, and then freeing up Bagunas for a slight second to give the Philippines a chance to score. And Bagunas will score once again, 4.8 Philippines. Espejo loading up on that serve as he normally does. Philippines committed 19 errors to Cambodia's uh, 16 during our first win. While for uh, Indonesia against uh, Vietnam, Vietnam only had 18. Indonesia committed 27 against them in the first loss of uh, Vietnam against Indonesia. Here's the pass, here's the toss, and here's the spike from Brian Bagunas. Down the line coming from Bagunas. How many times we 
you see Marcus Pejo and Brian Pagunas playing for one team. They played against each other for the longest time in their UAAP careers. As Pejo frustrated Pagunas so many times in their face-off until Ms. Pejo graduated and Pagunas was king of the UAAP together with the NU Bulldogs. Vietnam fighting hard, staying tough. But the Philippines still holding a three-point lead at 11-8. Now, although it's still very early in the match, the Philippines looks a lot more composed than they were in that first set against Cambodia, a set that was extended. That could have gone either way. Yes. They had to dig deep in that set. Coach Dante had to make some adjustments towards the end. But the Philippines came through. That was against two of the taller uh, blockers for Team Philippines getting scored on. Good fake. Delayed two-man wall for the Philippines. Eleven to nine in favor of the Philippines. At stake is a chance to advance to the semifinals. One of two teams that will advance to the semis in Group A. John Victor Guzman. Too strong on that serve. And Vietnam's ranking in the FIVB is number 37. While for the Philippines, we are at number 117. Let me double check this. For Vietnam. Number 65, Philippines, number 131. I believe the earlier ranking was the women's. For the women's, right. And Vietnam was the 2017 bronze medalists, meaning they finished third. While the Philippines secured a uh, 2005 podium finish, the last time that we were able to get to the medal round. Magunas playing with all his heart, with all his might, giving the Philippines a four-point team. He is just super know, pumped Vietnam. up right now as Vietnam is forced to call for time. You just love the energy here inside the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig. We saw that last night also in the game between uh, Vietnam and the Philippines, especially in the first set wherein uh, Eliza Valdez and Jovi Gonzaga really energized the crowd at the Phil Sports Arena before Vietnam woke up, tied the match, and eventually won against Team Philippines in five grueling sets, dominating the fifth and final set against a hard-fighting unit. Led, of course, by Eliza Valdez. Bagunas leading the way so far for the Philippines in this match. 14 to 10 is our tally. Second service error for the Philippines. We had nine service aces versus Cambodia. Cambodia scored one single Ace against the Philippines. Vietnam also had one of their own against Indonesia last uh, December 2nd. Here's the pass. And the toss to Espejo. Espejo once again shows us the qualities that made him a multiple MVP recipient in the UAP. Play this at import likewise overseas. And someone that our team sorely missed two years ago Correct. in Kuala Lumpur. And what an impact he has made. Power tip for Vietnam. That will be uh, Nguyen Tan High who will score 
whom you pointed out earlier, played uh, briefly in that match versus uh, Indonesia, but getting uh, early playing time against the Philippines. Wen Din Nu to serve it up. Two non starters who are getting the starting net today. Over received. That's a free gift for Vietnam, and they will take that point away from the Philippines. Bagunas over receiving. A better pass by Brian. Goes to the hey, middle. Right. Retamar. A familiar connection to between Saura. the Bulldogs. Yep, that's the trio of Bulldogs connecting there with Brian starting it off with that nice pass to Josh Retamar. The Philippines on top, 16 to 13. 16 to 13 in this opening set. 11 point scorer in our win versus Cambodia. Retamar, a double threat with three service aces. Looks to add on to his ace tally and uh, looks to push the Philippines to a bigger uh, advantage versus Vietnam. Good first ball for Vietnam. Quick play for Vietnam. The yellow shirts, Dong Van Tien scoring. Van Tien had four points versus Indonesia. Tied with the uh, Bu Mok Mong behind the 19 points delivered by Tu Tan Tuan. Bagunas tossing it up oh, for nice. Espejo. How about that? How about the delay for Espejo? Waiting for the blockers to go down a bit before striking the ball. It's not all about force, it's about timing. Well placed. Just a, a very accurate attack, attacker. So hard to defend. Espejo. And that time, sinigurado ni Mark na papasok yung bola. Hindi basta lakas, kundi yung precision. Oh, nice fake play. This unit is playing with a lot of collision. And the rhythm is there for this unit. Look at that uh, set coming from Retamar. Pointing his body towards the open and then shifting that set to the right. Four point lead. Team you Philippines. Service ace. Kinargahana. Sobra. Kinargahana ni Mark Espejo. Look at Mark Alfafara, Ishpol Morosa. And the ageless, the evergreen Jesse Lopez, who was very crucial coming in in that first set against Cambodia. Had the chance to cover coach Dante Edinson and Jesse Lopez playing for one uh, Philippine uh, international team that played against the best uh, players in the world. And that was a, uh, an invitational tournament hosted by the country uh, five years ago. And that's the type of role and leadership that you need for somebody like Jesse Lopez. The experience that he can impart to the younger of course, players of course. on this ball club. Retamar. Oh! Look at the float from the back, back row. For Espero, was he stepping on the line? Net touch. Look at the vertical, look at how long he stayed in mid-air. Vietnam down by three. As Dong Van Tien prepares to serve. Quick attack. Second one for Saura. And he scores once again. Good ball distribution coming from Joshua Netamar. Varying his sets. And uh, just making sure that his points of attack are not easily identified by Vietnam's defense. Saura and the Philippines just five points away from taking set number one. Three blockers. Sinabayan itong si Le Quang Khan. Still a dangerous opponent. Can't let your guard down against the yellow shirts. Bronze medalists out, in the 2017 Rizal. Southeast Asian Games in Kuala Lumpur. A win here today by the Philippines will move them over to the semis and will eliminate a third place team two years ago. Oh, 
over in Group A, Thailand, picking up a win 1 0 against Singapore. And then Myanmar also defeated Singapore. So it looks like Thailand and Myanmar will be advancing from that group, coach. That will be on the other draw. Of course, uh, Thailand has uh, dominated the opposition from 2011 to, to, uh, to 2017, winning for eight straight years, meaning four straight Southeast, Southeast Asian Games executions. Espejo with the absorption. Pakunas with just the right amount of wrist action to get the point for the Philippines. 22 to 17 now. Here in the opening set. Timeout, Vietnam. Coach Thai Quang Lai will call a timeout. In the first game, Kapansin Pansin na. Even though we are playing in our home country, coach, right. there was a little jitters. There was a moment where the Philippines had to settle down. Yes. But here, it's a more relaxed type of game that we are seeing. A more well-oiled Philippine national more team. More confident as well. Iba na talaga yung nakakauna ka ng panalo eh. The months of preparation will only uh, give you so much in terms of application and execution. It really will boil down to the actual competition. Rika Marcos trying to keep that ball alive. Goes down with a thumb up sign that our uh, chief umpire will call that point in favor of Vietnam. Last time the Philippines landed in the medal round was in 2005. And a win here today will push us into a knockout match between uh, the top team. What, who could be the top team in the opposite draw? We still want, have one game to, to play after today's match against uh, Vietnam. Look at the height on that jump by Brian Bagunas. Unfortunately, an error right there. Vietnam will get the point. And Bagunas looking for a cut shot will overshoot. Vietnam was down by five earlier. They call timeout. They eat up to the five-point uh, uh, lead by the Philippines. Two points of that five point lead earlier. Now the advantage is at three for Coach Dante and Insidori and the rest of the Blue Shoots. Coach Dante obviously does not want to take any chances here. He wants to make sure that his close players close yes. this one out convincingly and not give this Vietnamese squad any confidence look at the effort by Espejo and De Guzman to try to keep this ball alive Fagunas will go up for the hit Vietnam able to recover a chance to attack. Three blockers went up there. Bakunas is up there as always. And he sends that volleyball down. That is the happy place of Brian Bagunas. If Vietnam has a T3, we have B2. Bagunas will explode and detonate. An all-important point for Team Philippines, four point lead. And only two points away from winning the first set. A lot of multiple MVP winners for Team Philippines. What a save by Ricky Marcos. Back row attack by Bagunas. Quick attack by Vietnam. A whistle was blown. Umaalog yung net. Kwan Khan back at the service line. 
Here's the toss for Espejo. Wow. Zone 5 was the target. Deep, long. And look how fast the ball goes down. Disallowing anyone to cover. Four set points for the Philippines. As Pagunas and Espejo once again combining to lift the offense of the Philippines past the defensive schemes of Vietnam. That will be all here in the first set. The Philippines will close the door in Vietnam. Five-point margin, 25-20 Philippines over Vietnam in the first set. It's a monster block to close out set number one. The Philippines have one foot inside the door. As you see the scene inside the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City.